Major renovations are coming to I-25 meant to improve traffic flow, but as the project gets underway, be prepared for delays. News 13's Bella Olage was near I-25 in Montgomery. She has more on the changes. Costing nearly $280 million, it's said to be the largest single highway project in New Mexico since the Big Eye construction nearly 25 years ago. We're excited about investments in uh, projects like this and what it does for the city of Albuquerque. The New Mexico Department of Transportation broke ground today on the long-awaited I-25 improvement project that has been in the works for the past three and a half years. This is a design-build project, which means it's being designed and built concurrently, and uh, it's going to start on the Comanche side, and then we're going to move over to Montgomery. The NMDOT says these changes will improve safety and travel times for drivers, as well as safety for pedestrians and cyclists. What we're doing is just improving this corridor for our safety and speed. We're including braided ramps. We're including um, what they call advanced turnarounds. And so there will be a complete um, redo of Montgomery and Comanche bridges. The improvements will include widening the freeway, adding new lanes, and improving interchanges and frontage roads. We're adding a uh, southbound driving lane to uh, I-25, and so I think that'll help it omit some of that daytime traffic that backs up in those areas and causes those bottlenecks. City officials say drivers may see overnight and weekend closures. And while the delays may be frustrating for drivers in the short term, they urge New Mexicans to be patient. And ask every single New Mexican that every time you see one of those orange barrels, you think about improvements to our community and you think about progress. The city of Albuquerque says they will not be granting any permits to other construction projects in the immediate area for the next two to three years to avoid causing more traffic delays. Transportation officials compared the project to the Paseo Interchange revamp in 2014. With that reminder that going back 10 years, we've endured. We've seen what these projects can do for our mobility, for our safety, and for our community development. Drivers will see construction begin in August. It's expected to be completed in the spring of 2027. Bella Olage, KRQE News 13. The New Mexico Department of Transportation says they will have daily updates on closures and other impacts to drivers on their website.